great to have so many people registered for today. And it's not just about the audience in the, in the hall today. As Susie was saying, we do have uh, a live audience out there via the, uh, via the internet. And what is, tends to happen in these occasions is, is that they are in, in clusters. We're being seen in uh, companies' offices, uh, in lecture theatres, at universities, and uh, other places where people gather to, uh, to do business and to talk about sport. At the top end of the market, those who get it right, or in fact throughout the market, those who get it right have a have a great future, whether it be on the rights owner side, the sponsorship side, or the, the broadcast or media owner side. And that holds true that if we're rigorous, if we're robust in our thinking and our planning and our determination to secure return investments, sport has a tremendous place and can be proven to have a tremendous place both in the economy and in society at large. And I think that what we have to keep in mind is that Sports marketing is not an isolated industry, it has to be integrated and it has to um, act within the communication sphere and more generally speaking within the economy and the social life. So you know we're leading into the Olympics uh, and there's no doubt that coming off the back of the Football World Cup which is an extremely exciting occasion for all of us, um, throughout 2011 Brands will be thinking hard about the Olympics. Uh, many beyond the official sponsors will be starting to activate programs through 2011. We then have the event in 2012. And I think that if you're looking at sponsorship or any association between a brand and a rights holder, you have to be intrinsically, from an integrated point of view, you have to be correlating the benefits this partnership can bring um, at a brand level on many different levels. And so consumer engagement is great, but it's not the be all and end all. Then the question is, do you see sponsorship as a separate exercise or is it integrated well into the marketing mix? That we're, that's what we're currently experiencing in renegotiations. The problem often is that sponsorship is still seen as a separate business somehow. It was so about being able to show the real values in the real segments for different types of brands and different markets. And I think that's the key now that you, you have a very sophisticated customer that you're selling to and they want to see the bits that are relevant to them so you know, is there a good fit and is it a strategic fit you know for us sponsorship is not an add-on activity it's it's really at the heart of our marketing activity so we really integrate those things into what we're doing mm -hmm. and, and i think what we've constantly looking at so so you know the last year has certainly not changed that for us made it maybe only a little bit more rigorous but we're, we're really looking into the fit, you know, how we can leverage this, how we can work with our customers to, to really drive value out of our involvement. And that I was introduced properly to kind of the world of sports marketing for a couple of reasons. One, after winning in Sydney, my profile had increased. Um, my ability to give a return to sponsors had increased, but particularly because I changed to sail the star class, which is um, a whole, uh, a completely different animal. Now I want to stress at this point the difference between me starting with my mum and dad in a wooden optimist that costs less than a tennis racket cost to what we are doing now. And I think the comparison works well with Formula One or with football. Um, it is an accessible sport, but that's not to say that at this level, and particularly I come on to the America's Cup level, there's not big costs involved. There are, but that I don't believe that costs um, involved in the sport should influence the image that it has. That we need to now be more inventive with the partnerships that we have. Uh, mainly due to this quite apparent change in perception about sports sponsorship and wealth generally within the whole of our country. Thank you.